If you select the user view in uh, analytics, you're going to see a list of everyone that visited your chatbot in the selected time frame. If your chatbot did not request the visitor's name, you'll still see the visitor ID assigned by Landbot. You do get the country of origin along with the date and time of their first visit. The web page they were on when they initiated the chat tells you which pages on your site are giving your chatbot the most juice. You have access to the choices the visitor made, meaning which variables the chatbot captured. If you asked for their email, you also get their opt-in permission. Landbot even tells you which channel they were on. This is important if you distributed your chatbot on multiple channels, like your web page, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, etc. The Flow Analytics option is pretty neat. It shows you visually, as well as in data, which paths of your chatbot the visitors followed. For every path between two blocks, it shows you the percentage of visitors that followed it. Also, it makes the path thickness match the relative number of visitors, so the real thick paths are the ones that more visitors were on. If you hover over the percentage number for a path, it also shows you the actual number as opposed to a percentage. A red arrow coming out of any block gives you the percentage of drop-offs, meaning those are visitors that didn't choose any of the options, they just quit. If that percentage is high, you really ought to consider revising your choices. Quite often, it's the wording of the choices that is confusing the visitors. If you see a huge difference between different paths out of a single block, that might also indicate that you ought to rethink the choices you're giving them. You might want to reword that or rephrase that to be able to narrow down the choices better. Now, one of the, what I consider, coolest features of Landbot's analysis function is the ability to test different outcomes of your bot by offering your users randomly assigned paths. If you're designing the bot and you're unsure which wording is going to work best or which method to choose, like whether you should be using buttons or, or images, you can insert an A, B block uh, in, on any path. You can actually determine which percentage of visitors you want to offer each version of a block. Once you have done that and let that run for a while, you can then look at the flow analytics and you look at that A-B test block, you can see which percentage took each path and what was the drop-off rate for that next block when they were on that path. That'll clearly show you which option is preferred by your audience. This is one of the most powerful tools for marketers that's made real easy with Landbot chatbots.